Good afternoon. My name is Dennis Delaccio. I'm the Global Product Manager for Equipment at Dymax. This afternoon I'm going to show you the new MX150 that we're introducing here at MD&M East, New York City. There are two main components to the MX150. The first part is the controller. The controller has a touchscreen interface with a greatly improved user interface from some of our newer units. It basically has a full keyboard and has a, a user interface similar to a cell phone. The other component is the emitter. This is where we have the LED chip. This is available in 365, 385, and 405 nanometer wavelengths. The LED chip is contained here. This particular configuration has a, a light guide, so the light travels from the LED chip over to the working surface. The unit also operates without a light guide, so the light guide can be unplugged, and then you can put a light pipe in here, bring it closer to the working surface, and cure products without the need for a light guide. One of the user interfaces that our customers wanted was a way to lock out the machine in a production environment so production workers could not change the settings for time and intensity. So the unit has a, an admin function with a full keyboard that's password protected. Here is where you would set the time and the intensity of the unit. And once you set the time and intensity, you can put it into production mode and uh, the users on a factory floor cannot change any of the settings on the unit. So you've got the admin mode where you, you change settings, language, uh, alarms, things like that that gives you full access to the unit. But then the production mode, which is basically set it and forget it, operate and uh, cure product with the settings that have already been set up. It does have program storage, so if you're operating in an environment where you're curing three seconds of 50% intensity, and then you switch to a different product where you're curing at a different time and intensity, you can store all those programs or recipes in the unit and call those up at that time. The system offers a lot of flexibility, so you can use it with or without a light guide. We're also working on versions to incorporate the emitters uh, into more automated systems. So rather than having a system with an emitter and four controllers, we might have any, uh, a four different emitters going through one kind of a PLC box, if you will. So you don't have to have four controllers. And that'll be available uh, later this year or early next year. So the, the system offers a lot of flexibility. Uh, it offer, also offers a very high intensity where some of our earlier units had intensities of 10 to 15 watts. Uh, this has intensities of between 30 and 40 watts. So you can pull the, uh, the unit away from the work surface a little bit and with the high intensity you can compensate for that and still get very quick cures for your products. So if, if you want something with a very high intensity, very quick cure, the MX150 is probably a good way to go. If you're looking for something with uh, more flexibility but you don't need that much intensity, the Dymax QX4 might be a better option for you. And our application engineering group can help you with that selection process.